obviously one uh, hell of a game. Great atmosphere, uh, a lot of respect for Alabama's team, their fans, the venue. It was uh, 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 one hell of a game. Uh, tail of two halves. Obviously, we were not really prepared, and that falls on me in the first half. We didn't do a great job, especially defensively. But we also gave them short field. Um, and with a short field and a quarterback like Milrow, it creates uh, a lot of tough times. Um, I am extremely proud of our team at halftime. I thought our coaches made good adjustments. Everybody was positive. Um, and, and I talked to them. I told them, I said, look, guys, I've been in the stadium down to Texas a and probably just this bad. And I uh, came back to make it a game and uh, had a chance to win the game. It didn't make more plays than Alabama. So a lot of credit to them and for us. Humility is always a week away. We got to get ready for a, another tough opponent coming to our place. So that all opened it up. Kirby, how do you? What did you do different in the second half to kind of defend Milrow versus the first half? Well, we probably weren't as aggressive. Uh, we were more aggressive in the first half and uh, took some chances and uh, probably got hit on some things that uh, you know, they did a good job of packaging run and pass with him. And, you know, he, he's he's hard to defend, but when he's 28 of 31, or what it was, at half, halftime he was, I don't know what it was, but it was not very many incompletions. He's really hard to defend. So uh, you have to pick your poison. Do you want the guy to, to take off and beat you running? Do you want to you know, play loose coverage and, and try to keep eyes on him so he doesn't take off? He, he ran the ball well on the perimeter, and we lost contain, and then he also threw the ball well, which made it really tough. In the second half, we played some tighter coverage, made some stops and uh, we possessed the ball on offense. And we just, you know, when you make stops, you give yourself a chance. Can you talk about Ryan Williams, Kirby? Yes. Great player. I mean, I got asked by the game day crew before the thing about what are you going to do special for Ryan Williams. I said, we can't do anything special for Ryan Williams. They got a guy back there, quarterback, that could be the best running back in the country, and he throws the ball. So you can't put two people on Ryan Williams. You can't do it. You, you got to make him make throws. And uh, we, we've known Ryan for a long time. He came to our place on several visits. He's such a great kid. He's uh, extremely fast and elusive. He's got great ball skills. You know, Malachi had really good cover of Joni on double move. He, he got on top of Malachi. And uh, you know, if I had to do it again, we would challenge him more and get a pony. We were off a lot, but the play he made was actually in, in press coverage there late. And you know, that's okay to give that up. That's hard. But we caught that ball on them. Got to tackle. Got to get him on the ground. Make them snap it again, and, and we had momentum. Make them drive it through. But we didn't get him on the ground, and that's that's the biggest fatal flaw of that play. Kirby, you're known for having you know unbelievable game plans with two weeks to prepare. Uh, what did they do to surprise you in that first half? I was surprised. We turned the ball over. I don't know how many times, two or three in the short area, the short field, and and they did a really good job in the red area. You know, we, we were going to make Milrow throw the ball in the red area to beat us. We didn't have to. We ran around us. You know, we, we had our best player on him on fourth and one. And he outran him to the sideline and then turned up and scored. Uh, he ran outside of a, a blitz defense that we got more people than they can block in there. And, and uh, they, he ran up what we call a moon sweep outside. And he's a really good football player. He's a really good football player. So, you know, if, if you could just stop him and not worry about them, him throwing it, I think you could do it. But when he's throwing it well and they're catching it well, really hard to stop. What was, your, what was your message to your defense um, after the first several drives where, where they obviously were getting stops? Get stops. we got to get stops. You know what I mean? Play by play. we got to do a better job. we got to settle down. we got to communicate well. Um, you know, if you go back the first drive, we're third and seven, and we worked all week on – they go fast on third down, they hard count, they look to see what you're in, and we practice that all week, and we talk about not jumping off sides. We jump off sides, and they're deadly in third and two. They're hard to stop in third and two. So we got a third and seven, three and out, going to get the ball, doesn't happen, and they score. And then they score. And then we turn over and they score. It's, it's, it was tough sled for sure, and uh, you know, I give them a lot of credit. They, they did some different things, very similar plays, but they had different looks to it. They did a good job with their backs out of the backfield too. You know, one and six. Say that again. How were you able to evaluate Carson back and what you did in the first half? Well, I, I don't know that there was a huge difference. We had four downs to do everything in the second half. So the four downs made a big difference. Because when you got four downs, you know, you got a couple of waste in there. Um, we got to the point where we had to be aggressive and go fast, which opened some things up. 
Uh, I was really proud of the way he played. You know, he, some of the one of the interceptions was not his fault. He, you know, he did what he was supposed to do. And, um, but the fumble was probably the one that he'll look back on and say, "It's first and ten. Just throw it away. Just throw it away. We don't have to make a play there because we got four downs. We got second, third, and fourth. And to fumble that one and get it back to them makes it really tough." You know, one in six in your career against Alabama. Is there anything that leads to that? I don't know. What's your bounce record? Yes. <laughs> you know, has anybody got one better than one in six? <laughs> they played them six times. I don't think so. I think they got really good players. They got a great program. They got immense amount of respect for them. They do a great job. I mean, they some pretty good players. Caleb's got good players in here. It's a tough battle. Of those one, I mean, two of them have been here. You know, and they, they've been tough. They've been really tough battles. So, a lot of credit to those guys. And, you know, a lot of respect for them. Coach, saw you talk to almost every guy that walked off the field. What did you tell them, and why was that important for you to talk to each of those guys walking back? To the well, there's no greater response of a leader than to be with the guys who go to battle with you. And those kids went to battle tonight. Look, no, make, no, make, no mistake about it. That group we got in there, man, they're connected. They're proud. They got pride. And I told them, I said, guys, I, I, I don't know what the second half's going to look like. But I do know this. When we watch it, we're going to find out a lot about ourselves. We're going to see what kind of character we got. And I'll be honest with you, I thought we were a team that was in really good shape. I thought that we could play them into the fourth quarter once we had the you know, real situation we were. We just had to get one moment at a time. And I didn't want to walk off the field without you know, telling each one of them how much I appreciated what they, how they responded to it. That was pretty tough adversity there. Going off that, after Kentucky, you said that talked to you a lot about the team. Is there anything different that tonight's loss should have been? We can't turn the ball over and, and, and win games. I mean, we know that. We've been one of the few teams that hasn't done that, but we flirted with it, you know, and, and we had, you know, several times a night that we turned it over. And we were more explosive, but so were they. And they're an extremely explosive team. I mean, they're going to be explosive all year because they're absolutely explosive playmakers. Um, but I, I know I know the team I got in that room. I didn't learn anything tonight that I didn't already know. Just they're fighters. What did you see on Carson's deep shot to build the, the go-ahead? Last touchdown. Uh, it was a great play design by Mike, and we, we thought that it was there all week. It had to be the right look, and um, I thought it was a great call. I didn't even know at the time he called it, but it was one of those that, that, that we thought we could take advantage of their aggressiveness. They got some really aggressive safeties, and he bit on it. And uh, it was a great throw by Carson. It was a great play. Any update on Jared Wilson? He came back in, I think. Yeah. Kirby, just offensively, just what's kind of led to a little bit of the inefficiencies on third down? Well, uh, tonight it's hard to judge. It's third down, second down. So I, I, I can't, you know, say tonight. I mean, we were behind so early. This was a hard game to evaluate from an offensive standpoint when it's uh, that quick. You know what I mean? And I do think we got to communicate better. Um, we got to execute at a higher level. And that was one of the things we said coming out of Kentucky. But look, it's hard to communicate in that environment. I, I've been in this league a long time. You go call a play and try to get 11 people on the same page and execute while not being vanilla. It's a challenge. And they make it tough play on the road, and we got to do a better job of executing at a high clip. I mean, we get a max blitz. We check to a screen. It's a great call. It's the perfect thing to do. And a guy misses it, and he doesn't see the signal, and we throw a pick. You know, So it's like you can't do those things against good teams and win. Mikel makes his return tonight. What did you see in him rehabbing to get back and just what he's able to do? Just a love for the university. I mean, he had 24, 25 people here tonight. His mom lives right down the road. Uh, his mom's right here from Alabama. And uh, it meant a lot to him. And he was pulling guys on the sideline. He didn't have to do what he did to try to get out there and play. And he cares about this team. And he's a warrior. I mean, I, I love the guy because he's like, Coach, I'm going. I'm going. He halftime. He's still, I'm going. He wants to win. So it's just a great character reference for the uh, for him. You mentioned the turnovers being uncharacteristic. Is there any reason you can point to for the cause of those? Well, pressure. I mean, uh, Carson's was just, he didn't protect the ball. He had one hand up the ball. You know, I mean, you can point to anything in turnovers. They, they have two, you know, so it's, it's really important that uh, you don't turn the ball over, but we had to take risks too. So every time we had a fourth down, it was a potential turnover. They had a fourth down that we stopped. That was a turnover. So there was a lot of big plays in that game, a lot of big plays to be had. When you go down that early, what did you see from your guys on the sideline, and why did they, why were they not able to just go down out of themselves? Why were they able to fight that? Yeah, because we're not built like that. I mean, we're, we're not going to do that. I mean, that that's that's not who we are. We, we we fight too much each day out of practice to 
to uh, sit down and quit. I mean, they, they had a great response in, in halftime. I thought that was great the way they handled it. What was your message to Arian when something like that goes down on a critical down? What's that? Which one? When the bus is on the coach. Oh, next play, man. Next play. Next moment. I mean, shoot. Aaron made some plays in that game too. You know what I mean? So it's one of those deals. It's a boxing match. And and he didn't he didn't let it affect him. He just went and played the next play. That's all you can do is play the next play, man. You just keep playing the next play.